It is natural to feel frustrated when your touchscreen is not working and suddenly got completely frozen on your iPhone 10, or it works in some areas, not on others. Well, don't worry. Today, we're going to show you just two ways how to solve when the touchscreen is not responding on your iPhone 10 with and without erasing its data. This might happen for both software or hardware issue. Now, whatever the reason is, first make sure your iPhone screen is clean, especially if it came in contact with water recently. Also, if you've accidentally dropped it somewhere, make sure the screen is not broken. If you're using any third-party screen protector, you can just remove them and then try again. Apart from all this, screen frozen can also happen when your iPhone has less than 20% charge. And make sure not to use your iPhone while it's on charge. Unresponsive screen can also happen when there is not enough device storage. Now, since right now you cannot do anything with the storage issue, let's go ahead and start with force restart, okay? Quickly press and release the volume up and down button and then press and hold the side button till the screen gets black. When your iPhone 10 reboots by itself, most of the time it fixes the screen frozen issues. In your case, if it's still not working, now, just go ahead, take a USB-A to lightning cable or a USB-C to lightning, whatever is available to you. And then you need a Windows or MacBook. Now connect your iPhone with your Windows or Mac. We're using Windows for this video. And just to make sure if you're using a Windows, you have an updated iTunes. Take your phone to recovery mode. Just like your first restart your iPhone 10, press and release the volume up and down rocker. And then keep pressing this side button till it shows a connect to laptop image. Open up iTunes. As soon as you open it up, you'll get this pop-up. First of all, you can press on update to have a software update on your iPhone 10 to see if that works for you before factory setting your iPhone. So press on update, then press next, and then agree to the terms and conditions, and then wait for the update process to continue. If somehow this process fails or even if updating your iPhone screen is still not working, now on iTunes, you'll have to go to Restore iPhone option and then go to Restore and Update. Follow the prompts. Well, this will erase all data on your iPhone unless it's backed up on iCloud because at this point, you don't have much of a choice. And then just wait for the factory reset process to complete. After the factory is set, on your computer, you'll see welcome to your new iPhone. And on the other hand, your iPhone will restart with this hello in different language. It's a setup mode. You'll just have to reset up your iPhone once again. And hopefully your newly set up iPhone screen will work just fine without any screen frozen problem. Thanks for watching.